Hey guys, Mook back at it again. Today I'm going to give you my six predictions for the World So Saga. We'll see how any of these hold up. I probably might not get any right, but maybe I'll get at least one right when we look back at this, guys, four to six years from now. But I'm going to go over six. Here we go. My first prediction for the War Within Saga over the next four to six years if we have these expansions is I think one of these three characters are going to die. I don't know if it's going to be Jaina or Thrall or Anduin, but I think Blizzard's going to finally do it. It's going to be some heroic death. It's going to be wild. I bet it would be at the end. Or maybe like a surprise middle thing. Maybe two of them die. But I think one of these three characters are going to die. What do you guys think? You let me know in the comments. Do you think Blitzers would actually do this? I don't know. It's their golden characters. But I know some of them have been around for over 20 years. But the game would be at there it's like the 25th anniversary at the end of it i i think one, i think they're actually going to do it we haven't had a big character really big character death i'd say since maybe legion with varian and bulgin and all that but i i think i don't know if all these three people are safe that's my first prediction my next prediction is I think this guy's coming back too. I know we haven't seen him since the end of Legion and it makes too much sense for him to show up at the last Titan, but I think he's gonna come back sooner than we think. I think Illidan's gonna come back to be like Khadgar and be around. I don't know if he'll be in this first expansion, but I think he's gonna come back sooner than we think. Maybe end of midnight? It'd be kinda interesting how they spit that. But Illidan's definitely coming back but I'm going to say he's going to come back sooner than expected. The next prediction is Sylvanas will come back as well. I think she'll be back at midnight. This makes too much sense with the whole expansion being around the Elven Kingdoms. will be in Northern, Eastern Kingdoms again, which is one of my favorite zones in WoW. The whole area over there with Lord Ron, Jair's Fall Glades, the Plaguelands. I'm sure Stratholm will finally not be on fire anymore after 20 years doing a uh, wealth loss area as well but she's definitely going to come back i'm sure her sisters will be there too we'll see what she did all that time in shadowlands to atone for what she did maybe toronto will help her as well because it'll be an elf expansion maybe toronto they'll work side by side they'll set their differences aside probably not for what Sylvanas did tell herself but um i think uh, sylvanas is definitely going to come back she'll be especially with an elf expansion and wealth loss she has to my next prediction for the World Soul Saga is with the sword. I think we're going to have an idea of why Sargeras stabbed the planet. But we might get like a different answer. So then we might be, maybe they'll fake us out. So they'll be like, oh, we definitely know it's like this answer at the end of the War Within. But as we get to like Midnight and the Last Titan, it'll actually be like a secret twist. So they'll like switch it around, Blizzard switching it around with this. So I think we'll have one answer of answering what it was of why he did it but then it'll be actually there was a re maybe there'll be like a reason why he did it explaining everything we'll no, probably know more about Azra talking to everyone with the Radiant Song and all that but I think it's going to have one answer but then we'll actually have a, like there'll be another answer behind the answer of why he stabbed the planet my next World So Saga prediction is that the next five man dungeons that are going to come back and that we're going to have heroics with them again they'll just get a whole update Scarlet Monastery is going to come back. Makes too much sense with the Midnight expansion taking place in Northern Eastern Kingdoms, with the Elf's areas and all that. Lord Ron, Plaguelands, all that around there. It's definitely going to be the next five-man dungeon that's going to, or five-man dungeons area that's going to get updated. So I think it'd be cool to go back there again, see what's changed since everything's happened in the last few years, and just doing all those dungeons again, doing Armory. Or see what graveyards changed seeing what libraries done maybe they'll have them keep combined or cathedral maybe they'll just make a new one because they'll just have a new dungeon explaining everything but i think the next dungeon that's coming back is scarlet monastery in the world soul saga my last prediction for the world soul saga is i think the next legendary weapon in wow will be a staff and I think there'll be a really cool quest chain. It may happen in this expansion. Maybe they'll skip it. But usually they have it. I mean, they usually, guys, they usually have a legendary every expansion. Something going on. And um, 
I think it's going to be a staff. And I'll do some cool ability. I'm sure maybe it can like turn into a mount like the last legendary staff. Well, the legendary staff we had in Cataclysm. But I think the, the next legendary, the whole world, well, the next legendary in the game, and maybe the first one in the world, so I'm sure there'll be more. But I think the next legendary item in the game will be a staff. And maybe it'll be like a cool quest line, like how I got when I got my benediction, which I always like to flex because I've always I've been a priest mate most of my wild life. But yeah, I always like flexing my benediction, guys. And there we go, have it, guys. There's my six predictions of what I think is going to happen in the world so saga. I might be right on some of these six, maybe at least one, but we'll look back on this video four to six years from now and see how right it was. But until next time, it's been a good for watching.